hello. Um, thank you for tuning in to this video exhibit. My name is Marguerite Helen Sear, but this is not my show. Sorry for any confusion that this might have caused, but when you're named after your mother, this happens. This show, Selected Works by Marguerite Sear, consists of 20 paintings by the late Marguerite Sear. Many of you knew her. She passed six years ago, but left a small legacy in, in Washington County. Our family moved to Hagerstown in 1959. Our father, Roland Sear, managed Montgomery Ward Sear, and mom started painting again after he passed in 1982. <clears throat> she was born in Queens, New York, and graduated from Hunter College with an art degree. She took over the portrait studio class at the YMCA, taught art at St. Mary Grady High School, and was a member of the Spectrum 7 group of painters and the Valley Art Association, as well as co-founder of the Mansion House, which is home to the Valley Art Association and showcases art from the area. She was a dedicated lifetime artist, which is, who painted in a traditional realistic style. While not working with the American Red Cross and the Girl Scouts, her other two loves, my mother painted. She took classes, traveled far and near to work with art instructors, and she loved to visit museums. She had a strong background in art history and art theory and shared her knowledge as a docent at the Washington County Museum of Fine Arts. She was a true creative thinker and wove that creativity into her home, garden, child rearing, and personal style. She would take me to near the nearby Crystal Grottoes to help her dig clay for her ceramics classes at Goretti. She created beautiful ceramic pieces, more reminiscent of the 30s <clears throat> Art Deco movement during which she attended art school at Hunter. She excelled in watercolor but thought that it was just too easy, even though her watercolor portraits could have been Breck advertisements. She entered several competitions and won many awards. I own one piece that she called the money maker because every time she entered it, she won $100. In preparing for the show, I attempted to showcase pieces that showed her strength and versatility. There are several landscapes in oil and watercolor, floral, still lives, and, por and one portrait in oil. Since watercolor was one of her strengths, two small, water, two small sketches are included here. Orchid and tulip, both pretty little studies in watercolor, as well as three larger landscapes. Harper's Ferry Overlook, which beautifully captures the fall colors, and it's summertime and summer fantasy, lush summer greens. Mrs. Sear excelled in still life, skillfully painting reflections and detail in oil, as seen in still life with fan and oriental still life. Included are floor, four floral portraits, and Lady in, hat, in the Hat is a, is a single portrait in the show, and it is a delight of complementary color. Her travels to England, where she paints English meadows, English meadow with sheep, in early morning in Dedham, these soft renditions of the English countryside are studies in mood and subdued color. Thank you again for joining this virtual exhibit. It has been my honor putting together a show of my mother's artwork for the public to appreciate once more. I hope you will enjoy the show and will consider making a visit to the Washington County Arts Council wearing your mask and social distancing to see these works in person and maybe taking something home with you to add beauty to your home. Everything is reasonably priced in hopes that cost won't be a barrier. <clears throat>